fire extinguisher. Safety first. What's up everybody? So uh, today I'm going to show you something on my filament extruder. So I designed this uh, caliper measure uh, jig, right? Well I've re-engineered it. I didn't publish the uh, files yet, so I re-engineered it a little bit. I made it so that you could actually um, mount uh, the whole caliper as a base. Put an extra hole in here for a spring, a longer spring. And I'm just going to kind of show you how to put this together and uh, we'll see if it works any better than my last one. Last time I was using magnets to hold this guy in place. No. So I'm going to put this guy right after the roller section here. And uh, it'll be a little bit better, I think, in my opinion. So this shall be mounted right here. And then I'll put the other roller system after this somehow. But I'm going to actually screw this onto here so it can't move. Because that was my original problem. This thing always moved everywhere. So, I'll show you how to put it together. Alright, these are standard uh, uh, 608 skate type bearings. These are a little slightly different, but uh, that's what they are. I got some 8mm bolts. These are a little extra. Uh, extra long. They're about 35 millimeters. And um, this time I actually printed a little lip one here. Uh, there we go. Little lip so that it holds the bearing away from here because that was one of my original problems. So, put that guy on there like that. Tighten it down. That's it. That's how you put the bearings on. It's pretty simple. Okay, bearings are on. I'll tighten that a tiny bit later. And uh, I went ahead and put two screws back here. I did uh, tap those out with the uh, with the tap. Those are a 1032. These uh, will be actually forced into the back side of the caliper. The screw will be. Okay, and that's what's actually going to hold it in place. They're pretty tight anyway, but that'll uh, that'll definitely uh, help us out. Don't over tighten it; you'll probably just end up cracking it. Same thing with the front one. These fit snug into there, so they ain't going anywhere. And the last step uh, is to thread these long screws in here, because I'm going to put a long spring on here this time. But I'm going to do that last. Okay, so I'll tighten these down just a tiny bit, and uh, we'll install it on this unit and see how it works. Okie dokie. Got it installed, got the spring on the back. Just got one till it felt good. And uh, I had to crank those little screws down to keep this thing set in there nicely. So that appears to be good. Uh, next step is to install this guy back on here in a different position. All mounted. So.
That was kind of a rundown of a setup procedure. <clears throat> Filament didn't want to stay in my hole. I had to tape it down. Should have left the tag a little bit longer. That worked out so much better than what I had. For some reason it's quite not quite right. Sometimes the first uh, bit that's in here has to get out before this really gets consistent. So I adjusted temperatures. So I'm going to let it go for a while and uh, basically just watch it and see where it goes. I am uh, messing around with setting up an LCD on this guy so I can externally read this thing, but uh, thus far. It's a bit challenging for my uh, current amount of time I have daily, so we'll see. But for now, at least we can get a reading every once in a while and make sure we're on track. Alright, well, I hope you enjoyed that update, and uh, stay tuned. Always working on projects takes time. Peace out. Have a good day.